What's going on, guys? I'm Verbidio87. My name is Real Nick CL. And we're about to review one of the most scary movies for black people. The movie Get Out. Ooh. <laughs> The movie opened up on February 24th, this last Friday, and it uh, uh, was directed by Jordan Peele and actually written by Jordan Peele, which I was a shock. I never thought a Green comedian. Landon. Yeah, he read, I just thought it written by him too. I would. I was a shock. I never thought someone like Jordan Peele, a comedian, would write a movie like this. Wow. No, I was shocked, and I love his 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 like, him him and the Key and Peele stuff. So. No, he directed it. No, he wrote it as well. That's pretty I, good. That was amazing. Um. I mean, what can we say about this movie? And we just, we literally just got out of the movie. Yeah, like we, we got literally the movie, drove all the way home talking about it, discussing <laughs> it. And we got down, sat down. I mean, set up the recording equipment, and here we are. Yes, and let me tell you something. It's it currently is, it is a twelve very, o'clock at night. Yeah, it's yeah, it's midnight right now. Well, about to be. It's about to be it's midnight. We watched it, so. And it is a very scary movie. Not really. It wasn't scary. Not to me. Of course, it wasn't to you. But this movie right here, let me tell you something, does not help race relations. You don't okay. think it does. Yeah, it does not help race relations right now. Okay, there's... Oh, What's the premise goodness. of the movie? The premise of the movie is about a guy, he's black, he dates a white girlfriend. That's not bad, okay. And he, he you know, of course, he meets the parents, which, you know, that's what, that's what you're supposed to do it's in always a relationship. A, it's always you're a scary thing in the relationship, relationship. It's going to be your you know, uh, girlfriend or boyfriend's parents, depending who you are and all and that. And, of course, you know, me being black, you know, sometimes when, you know, you date someone of the opposite race or anybody, even, even if you date a black girl, you're pretty sure the first question is, do they know I'm black or do they know I'm white? That's always been the question. Has it? It's always been that way because, you know, some parents, they may have never seen you. dated a black person? Okay. <laughs> Did anybody the opposite race? Of course, it's a very, uh, I would say, scary trying scene. thing. Maybe trying very to think. Stressful. It's a little very stressful thing, but usually it works out. But anyway, so you know, I mean, this movie right here, to me, was scary. To him, it wasn't. But trust me, when you watch this movie, give me some it, ideas. It, it, it's going to you're gonna you're gonna rethink everything. The people that played in this movie was Daniel Kohler. He plays Chris Washington. And we're gonna put something on screen. You yeah, I can't. I that. can't say his last name. Then you got Allison Williams. She played roles, the girlfriend. She's the girl. Catherine, Catherine Keener. Uh, yeah, Catherine Keener. She Keener. plays Missy Arm Armitage. Armitage. Then you got Bradley Whiffer. She he plays the father, Dean, Dean Armitage. Dean Armitage. Then you got uh, well Caleb Laundry Jones. Landry. He played L- L- Landry Jones. He plays Jeremy the brother. Jeremy Armitage the brother. Jeremy, Jeremy Armitage the brother. And then finally, and the, then finally you got uh, a little rail Howie. He plays Rod Williams. He plays the best friend. He's the best the friend of the main like, character. He's main a character, yeah. TSA agent, and he is hilarious. He's he hilarious through the whole movie. Like literally, if he, I mean, literally, this movie was funny with him in it. It was. Like, he's the comic relief. He is the comic relief. He's this, very important to the overall story, which we'll get yeah. to later. Um, but for me, as a uh, watching this movie, I didn't know what to really expect. Out of it, like I kind of do, I kind of do what to expect, but I didn't think at the very end what was going to happen. But we'll, we'll get to that later. We we'll get to spoilers. Now, um, did you enjoy this movie? Did I? <sighs> okay, I enjoyed it, but I'm terrified a little bit. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> see, there you go. See, there you go. Right now, I'm just letting. I'm. Just, I'm. I'm gonna say this. Apparently, again. he is terrified of white people now. It does. It, I'm not terrified of white people. It's just that. It's, if you, uh, how can I say it? Okay, I'm just saying it does not help race relations. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, when you watch this movie, you're going to look at people different. Okay? I don't. I don't. All right, from, uh, just so everyone knows, we both enjoy this movie. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, we, so. we, I, I, I enjoy it. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy it. But it was very scary. It was very scary. Now, from this point forward, we're going to have spoilers. A this is a spoiler that. warning. A lot of spoilers. Not not, not too many spoilers. Yeah, we're going to spoil the whole movie yeah, for it's you. Gonna be, it's going to be real quick. But, um, but, yeah, spoiler warning. Flash, flash, flash. Boom, boom, boom. Um, okay. So, do not watch this part if you have not seen the movie. If you still want to see the movie, do not watch yeah, this. Yeah, do not watch here. this, man. Because when we're saying it's going to ruin the whole movie for you, it'll yeah. all be re- revealed. We don't want to do that for you. So just go ahead and watch okay. the movie, then come back and watch this part. Okay. So 
In the beginning of the movie, of course, um, well, actually, yeah, well, in the beginning of the movie, you see uh, the guy, uh, oh, dang, we should have brought his name up, because, uh, dang, he played. This guy. The, the very beginning of the movie. The Maybe. very, the very, very, very beginning. Uh, go there. Who? Uh, no, uh, uh, I was never the very beginning of the movie. Well, I won't well, show you. No, down. Uh, down a little more. Down a little, where, where's he at? Yeah, um, He's in here. yeah. Lake Stanfield. He, um, Lakeith Stanfield. Lakeith, Lakeith Stanfield. He played um, Andre. He's the first guy you see in the movie. Oh, I remember that. Part. And he's walking down in the road. He's, I guess, he's trying to find something. He's trying to find a house. He's or walking out a suburb or something. Suburb, yeah, suburbs or something. And he's telling his friend, like, man, where, where you got me at, man? Where you got, where you got me going? So all of a sudden, a car starts following him, and I'm already like, oh snap, here we go. Know. We already get started. Then so he gets snatched. He gets snatched, which I was kind of surprised by that. Wow. I thought there'd be a little bit more interaction. Like I thought maybe like somebody would stop him and be like, "Hey, where you going?" But it just well, it was just kidnap someone. You don't want to do want to draw that one. Have you want to yeah. get him and it's done? Yeah, but I didn't think that was, I didn't think that was gonna happen. But but yeah, so of course he gets kidnapped and that's the first he part of the dis- movie. Disappears. He dis- disappears. And you get to the main character. He's with his girlfriend. Yeah. They're uh, packing and ready. He's a photographer. You see his artwork everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And he's packing. He's ready to go because they're going to, for the weekend. They're going to her parents' house yeah. and meet her parents for the yeah. first time. And of course, you know, again, you know, he's kind of nervous, asking her, "Do they know I'm black?" And she's like, "Oh, apparently it's okay." She, she they, my they, parents aren't racist. It's not racist. I mean, they they could have voted for Obama the third term. I'm like, what the heck? It was just like, are you serious? Fast forward, <laughs> and they they fast forward. Of course, you know he shows um, up. He show well. Actually, no, well, actually, they're driving, and the first all of a sudden, all oh, right, a deer just flies across the car. Now, my thing, the big question I want to know is what happened. Did someone throw the deer? It was, or run, did it was just, just running across the street. But not the. It looked like someone threw that deer. It looked like someone threw it. Like someone just threw That's the what deer. Happens. They jump across the street. They don't just walk across. I could. I don't They're know. Flying. I don't know the way it looked. That someone threw the deer. So of course you know he gets scared. You know, I'm pretty sure you saw the commercial. You know, the cop acts in there. Let me see your ID. And she's trying to act all like, Tough oh, get, try to act. Oh yeah, don't do that. Don't. Oh, he you're doing driving. it because he's black. He wasn't driving. And of course, you know that's the typical <laughs> thing you never do is interrogate. Well, what's the word I'm looking for? Not what? integrity. Uh, not integrity. You don't uh, push a police officer like that. You no. know. You know, you don't you don't push a police officer like that. Don't do that. Don't put. Don't be like, oh, it's okay. Don't that's for anyone. That. That's for way. anyone. That's don't what ever. anyone to do. Yeah. So pretty much, of course, you know, she tries to protect him, and then he, you know, they finally get back in the car. He looks at her, goes, "Uh, so you okay? What was your problem?" She was like, "Ain't no one gonna touch my man." And he was like, "Okay." So of course, you know, they get to the house, and you see the parents come out. And <coughs> they start overly inviting. He comes out, and the father hugs him. Says, "What's going on?" He's my boy, my boy. Yeah, and and then he goes. Oh, I think there was another black thing. He goes. Um, he says something else. Something about Obama. If you go to elect Obama for oh, yeah, the third term, he would have. Yeah. It's just, every the, single person you meet says how much they love black people, yeah. and it's. <laughs> Sorry about There's that, dog off screen. There's a dog off screen. But um, uh, but yeah, and then of course you know he gives them a tour of the house, and he's making all these black terms. My father was the fastest man. But then a black man took it. <laughs> yep. And then a black man took it. And, and of course, you know, he and, lost. And he never course, saw it coming. I'm during like, the tour, yeah. you begin meeting the other, uh, the servants, yes. the, uh, yeah, all the help, black, all the, the various help all in the house. The help. The There's a gardener outside. He's black. There's a, uh, I guess a maid or someone just yeah. caring for the it, kitchen yeah. and maid, stuff like that, cleaning maid. a little bit. And then, um, it's just those two. It was just, yeah, it was those two. And so, um, so of course you know he's going looking around the house like what is going and they're, on? Like, they're acting unusual. Yeah, like, normal having help is not a bad thing, but they're like smiling, the massive smiles. Their faces are full. They seem distracted, like they're looking at things while cleaning slightly. Yeah. She was pouring tea and it was like, overflowing because she wasn't paying attention. Yeah. It was just unusual. It wasn't normal help. Yes. Yeah. And something was wrong. You tell something's wrong. They have a feel about it. And so of course throughout the movie he's starting to like. Started getting a little kind of like, yo, what's going Just on? Just small so, things happen here so, and there. He's you like, know, so he's like trying to tell his girlfriend, like, hey, uh, is your dad, you know, if they okay? You know, he's still trying to figure that. She's like, oh no, it's fine. Trying to act like nothing's going on. I mean, she did it perfectly. Her acting on that was perfect because I thought she was gonna be good. 
we fast forward a little bit, and apparently we find out that this weekend, the same week they come over, they're having a party. All, a massive family get together. All family friends are coming over. Just gonna hang out with something to do every year. Yeah. Not nothing bad. They all start showing up, and as the main character, what's his name, Chris? Yeah, Chris. His name, yeah. Yeah. Chris Washington. As he's introduced to all these various uh, family members and families, friends and family, every single one of them comment on. On being black, pretty much. Like they'd be like comments yeah. about race and black and all that stuff. Like, yeah, like 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 I think there was one guy that says, uh, "Black people, they're just great, aren't they? They just yeah. awesome." And the fashion designer said, "The, the blacks." Fashion. He didn't say black people. He said blacks and se- black is popular now. Blacks yeah. and blacks and season. Yeah, it's very. It wasn't necessarily towards black people, but it was just the way he said it. Well, yeah. it was eyeing him, the other the uh, Chris up and down. And then there was a woman that goes, "Oh, I heard black people are good on this," and he's filling up on her, he's on, like, hanging on his arm, and, and, all arm. Stuff. and he was like, "Of course, you know." He's like, "Man, let me go ahead and take some pictures." <laughs> yep. And then he takes a picture. He finds another uh, another uh, I guess black guy there. Yeah, another black guy. But he's dressed in old style. He has like the the brim yeah. hat, the. Uh, Brown coat. Yeah, he's like from the thirties or something. He's really yeah. dressed in old, really old style. It's it's so you know. Of course, he says, "Hey man, it's good to see another." Well, you, you saw the commercial. You see, see another, another brother. Another brother. Yeah. He tries to give him a you know little pound, fist bump. little fist pump. Yeah, and uh, of course, you know he he grabs it like this, shakes his head. He shakes like, his head. That's good. It's good to meet it's you so as well. Good to meet you. Yeah, and it was it was just hilarious. So then, of it course, was... you know he goes back into the house and. He calls his friend up. He's like, "Hey man, uh, remember that?" That's dude? what his friend is calling. Yeah, group. which and, and I'll tell you, his friend was like, he keeps on calling his friend. He's like, "Hey man, uh, what's going on?" You know, uh, every think, single time, every this dude was funny though. He said, "Man, they get sex slaves. They crazy yeah. mother." I every told time you he says something, he thought they were bringing up sex slaves, sex slaves, this, sex, sex slaves, slaves, that. Yeah. You need to get out of there for they make you a sex slave. Yeah, and he was like, "Man, you crazy." So and he, then, yeah, go ahead. He goes downstairs and he's surrounded by everyone. They're asking questions. Question, it's a very difficult question. Like, what's it like being black in a modern society? Is it more difficult or easier? Or diff- easier? I'm I not mean, that. <laughs> so then he sees the, uh, he sees Andre, or we find out later it's Andre. Yeah. We find the, uh, the brother who didn't, who did the fist bump and all that stuff. The brother. <laughs> I don't know. He called him my brother. You know? my brother. I like he that. He takes, he secretly takes his phone out and takes a picture of him. Oh. Uh, He's like, I, this is kind of weird. I want to send it to my, to, I want to send it to my, dude, my guy. Yeah. My, uh. Rod. Yeah. I'm sending it to Rod. So he takes a picture, forgets to turn the flash off. So the flash goes off. You see that in the oh, brand hat guy's eyes die. And then he's no charge bleeding. He charges forward. Get out, get out. He's yeah, screaming, he, get out. Yeah, he's like, he's hey. attacking him. Yeah, because he's like, hey, brother, go. Let go. Back man, off, what's bro. Up, what's up? Okay. And, and so, of course, you know, they go all go to the living room. And the, the lady, uh, the mother, calms him down through hypnosis. Through hypnosis. And, you know, he comes out. He's like, I'm sorry. That I did that, it was out of my character. And he just went calm again. He was like, and he left. They all he left. just left, like whatever. So, fast forward a little bit. He's upset about this because he knows something is going terribly yeah. wrong here. They're all acting very strange, and so he wants to leave. And she agrees. Okay, we're gonna leave. Yeah, we're gonna leave later tonight. They're out there discussing. While they're out there, they took they took a little lace. They're on they're on the they're on the lake on the porch of patio yeah. overlooking the lake. They're discussing, just chatting. He wants to leave, so they're gonna leave. Well, While this uh, is going on, really. They're they're uh, they're playing bing, bingo. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're playing bingo. Silent bingo. He's yeah. raising his hands. One, two, three. In reality, it's bidding. Yeah, they're bidding. It's a silent them. auction. So you fast forward a little bit. They're on their way back. Right. He they're upstairs packing, and then I'll let you take this uh, part. Then they're upstairs packing. So of course, you know, he's telling, trying to tell her like, "Hey, we gotta go." We got go. He said he's she be saying, of course, you know, she's over there. Okay, I'll get my keys. He was like, okay, hurry up, find the keys. We'll just go downstairs, and we'll, you can find the keys while you grab the purse. So of course they go downstairs, and everybody, you know, the whole family's kind of saying like, where are you going? You know, the the brother, the brother, which uh, the brother's brother, in there blocking the door. The brother blocking the door. He goes in, and you know, he's telling them like, hey, where are you going? The whole family's out around here, and and of course he's telling, them, where are the keys? <laughs> He's starting to freak out more and more. He's, he's freaking more and more. She's, she's like, like, I can't find he's them. He's yelling. He's like, where are the keys? I need the, the keys. Give me the keys, keys now. And then she goes, oh, uh, these keys, you're not getting these. And you realize at that point, she's in on it. She's on it too. She lures people to the house to be sold. Yeah. And she, she's really good at acting because she, of the fact, um, She lures you know, these black friends, these black boyfriends black, back to the house. Even a black girlfriend. Even a girlfriend. I don't know if it was a girlfriend, just a friend brought over. I'm not sure. It might yeah, have been a girlfriend. I'm not sure. Been, yeah, you're right. It could have been. It, it could don't have all been. have to be boyfriends and girlfriends. It could be just yeah. friends are bringing home for a little. Um, I don't know. 
But but yeah, anyway, so finally, you know, they, they capture him and he's sitting there. There's like a TV like the hypnotist because of course in the movie, um, the mother is known as the hypnotist. And what she does is she turns this little T thing and she bangs it somehow and you're, you're hypnotized. You fall into this like hole or whatever. That's her watch. You know, maybe just have a little watch. They uh, yeah. go, they hang in front of you. She uses her teacup. She, teacup, she and just, she taps it. Various things. She taps it once, strokes it. It does various things to you. Once you hit, once she gets you the first time, then she has you permanently. Yeah, that's her whole stick. She is able to hypnotize you, and then you can't escape. You try to flee, you run away. She throw over teacup, and you're out. Yeah. So you know he's sitting there, and they finally got him. He, they're showing him different things, like the first of how all this started. You know, the grandfather. Uh, telling him this is you know this is how we get this is something he discovered this, this is how our, he discovered this is our so, job you'll be part of the family soon part of the family soon so of course you know he's sitting there and another one comes on he sees the, the guy who brought him he said I'm taking your eyes pretty much I'm gonna take your eyes he explained the whole thing years. this wasn't just hypnosis for slavery the whole black thing wasn't necessary. It was because it's, it's I, I, focusing. I, I, I feel you, but <laughs> I feel you on because that because the procedure is yeah. They hypnotize you, put your subconscious into a yeah. box inside your own mind, and then through neuroscience and brain surgery, which is the it starts getting into more science fictiony, yeah. they transplant the, the person who bought you's brain into yeah. your body. Yeah. Into you. yeah, so pretty much they want to be black people. But he <laughs> wanted him for his eyes. The blind guy bought him because he wanted his eyes. Because yeah. remember, he's a photographer, so yeah. he has a, he has good, excellent eyes. Yeah. He's good at choosing things, so he wanted for his eyes. So. Yeah. That's why he bought him. So, of course, you know, he's starting to be like, oh, snap, please don't do it again. But then he he figures out a way to not be hypnotized anymore. So he's playing with the chair, and he gets some, like, clo- uh, uh, cotton. He gets cotton. He gets cotton. He gets cotton from the chair. Oh, it's cotton or just stuffing, but... It's stuffing. No. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like. Cotton. So he stuffs so his ear. So the next time the hypnotist thing happens, yeah, he's so, not hypnotized. Right. So, of course, you know, in the in the movie, you see the father about to, you know, do the operation, and the oh, son... He's doing the operation. Oh, he's doing the operation, because he already started. He, so the son goes in and rolls in to come see, uh, to come get him, and... Of course, you know, he gets unbuckled, and he's sitting there, you know, but getting everything ready. Next thing you know, he gets this ball. Oh, what? Was it a ball? I'm sure it's a full cue or something, some decoration in the room. Because he yeah. picked the ball, bashed the kid's head in. And Not the kid. He was an adult, but 26. Adult, but the, son. Son. Yeah, the son. And he grabbed the the, the, uh, the stuffed deer head yeah. and used it to impale the father. Yeah, and he stabbed him real good, too. And I was cheering. I said, yeah! That's when he got up. He literally got yes! out of his chair, <laughs> screaming, yes! Yes! It was yes! Amazing. He's on his way out. Kills the mother. And the mother, well, and of course, you see the teeth thing, the way that she hypnotized, she's about to, to, to grab it, but of course, he knocks you know, it out. In those movies, when they when they when when the hero walks in and you yeah. see a gun laying on a table, yeah. they both look at it, they both dive at it. Yeah. It, <laughs> it happened crazy. just like that, except for a teacup. But the thing is, this is how you know he wanted to get out bad. He's the dumb. mother tried to stab him, and he took the hand, and he was like, no, I don't care. I'm getting up out of here. He got a, took a screwdriver through the hand. Or through the knife hand. or whatever it was. It he like, his own hand around and sliced it with oh, a Oh, yeah. Hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, like I said, that's how you know he wanted to get out. Because he, he said... With his own hand and cut her throat. He cut her throat. And then, of course, the brother is somehow is still alive. Yeah, I'm going to get his head beat in twice. He's yeah, fine. but still, though. But it, you didn't see the blood that was coming off his head? It wasn't that much blood. Hey, it was a lot that's of blood. a little bit of brain damage. I thought he was dead, but he was grabbing him like he was a wrestler, and he's trying to get out the door, and finally he figures out a way that he stabs him again. He uses scissors to stab him in, a, in his leg. His leg. He and screams for a second, drops him. And then he kicks him out. I'm yelling, screaming, yes! He's in there, he's, he's curbed on me. He's like, oh, they're just stomp, stomp, stomp on his yes, head. Bridge all he's on you here cracking Oh, my goodness. I was so happy. I was like, thank God. So, of course. And at he, this point, everyone is cheering in the. So then, of course, he gets it. He finds the car. He finds the car keys. Gets to the car. He's on his way out. He thinks the movie's over. And then all of a sudden, he hits the black woman. He went, so he hit her instead of, he was telling himself, no, just go, just go, you gotta get out of here, and he would've been fine. Yeah. But he went back and got her. And he had to pick, he picked her up and take her to the hospital, like, put her in the car. Yeah, and then, of that course, was a mistake. and that was the biggest mistake he made. She looks at him and goes, what are you doing? And, of course, they get to her, they, they, they hit a tree, he gets out of the car, girlfriend finds out, and she eating Fruit Loops or something, and hears a noise. <laughs> it was funny because... She was eating Fruit Loops, but she had a cup of milk and had a bowl of cereal, but there was no cereal One in the milk. One of the things that disturbed me the most from this movie was that scene he's describing. Because she picked up a single Fruit Loop out of the bowl of dry cereal and a cup of milk, bit it in half in her teeth. She didn't put it in her mouth, the whole thing, she just... And then drunk the milk. Loop and drunk, then drunk uh, through a straw yeah. while watching black guys, yeah. pictures of black guys on the internet. Yeah, and that was kind of disturbing. No, doing nothing weird, just sitting there cross-legged, just... 
Slurping milk while doing it. It's like, yeah. Why? What are you doing? I don't know. You're maybe a she freak. Was, maybe, maybe she was getting turned on a little bit. Maybe she really wanted them. So it's a anyway, weird. Very so weird. So anyway, you know, she she catches up with him, get a shotgun, shooting, and then next thing you know, the grandpa starts running. She goes, "Go get him, grandpa!" It's the it's, it's the guy. You from realize, the, yeah. yeah, it's the it's the guy who. Uh, it's the grandpa who started all this. He wanted to be a runner. So, of course, you know, he's running fast to go get her. And, of course, he he finally gets him, but he takes out his phone and does the flash. And so then after that, he um the guy gets up and goes and tells the girl, give me the gun. I'll do it. it. I'll finish it off. And so instead of, of course, shooting him, obviously, he shoots the, he shoots the, the, girl, the, girlfriend. the girlfriend. So, of course, you know, he's in there trying to kill her. And then the police come. Now... <laughs> I was like, as soon as I see that, I said, Lord, no, Lord, please, 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 please don't do it. Like, I was like, please. He's been through so much. Oh, he's been through so much. But when I saw it said airport, I said, yeah. It zooms in on the car. You don't see anything. I was so happy. You zoom sideways from the bumper, and the door opens. And you see airport. And you know, because he's a TSA agent. Yeah. Boom. Rod gets out. He comes out. He says, and then the entire audience stands up we and bursts into cheers. Yo, like, yes! we were so happy. And then he gets into the car. It's like silence and stuff. He's like, looks at him, goes, "Told you so." Shooting gun. Yeah, I car. told you not going to hell. No. Yeah, yep. I told you. What did he say? On TS motherfucking A. Yeah, they, A. Yeah, there we go. That's what he said. Like, he said like, he was cool. And he drives. Yeah. I'm, t- I'm trying I have to. My- Case closed, I had my ways of doing shit. Yeah. yeah it was and, then, it. and then, of course, he drives, he, they go around, and that's it. That's the end of the movie. So, he drives away, you see the light in her eyes die as they drive away, yeah. and she's dead, and then the whole the whole family is dead. Yeah. And so, I, I'm trying to tell you right now, that that movie was amazing. Um, okay, that, so, anyway, but yeah, that's pretty much the whole movie. But yeah, man, um, so, uh, do you want to give it a rating? A beard rating, I would say? I'm going to give it, with my new beard rating I gave last, for the Great Wall, a nine, oh god, I'm dropping my thing. Nine out of ten beards. Yes, it's better than the Great Wall. Um, yes, I definitely agree. I'm, I'm actually gonna give it an eight point five. Eight point five. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I do not want to watch this movie. <laughs> That's the only reason. <laughs> That's the only. It's just for, for me watching this movie. It makes it makes me feel some type of way, and I, I just don't want to watch it again. Way. I feel some type of way. I just cannot watch the so, movie again. I just can't. I, 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 look, look, man, I, I just, look, love the movie, Jordan Peele, you did a great job, man, mm-hmm. you did a very good job, I was not expecting this, someone, especially for someone like you, and the whole mind swapping thing, who was a very, amazing, amazing, yeah, it was a very that good was topic, genius. that was genius, I was not expecting genius. that, I was not all. expecting that at all, um, I, I, I really was, I didn't know what to expect out of this movie, I'm really glad, I'm really glad we went to go see it, but, um, but yeah, anyway, I give it an 8.5 again, Be, uh, 8.5 beard, great movie, I just wouldn't watch it again for me, because um, it just it makes me feel some type of way for real. Um, but other than that, man, great movie, Jordan. Jordan Peele, you did a good job, man. I'm, I wasn't expecting it, so. What's up, man? Well, oh. if you did like this video, uh, please give us a like below and a comment to let us know what was your favorite part of the movie. Did you have a favorite part? Did you enjoy the movie, or were you scared of it like Robert is? Yeah. Uh, not yeah, scared yeah. of it, but scared of the premise of it. Yeah, but, not trusting um, people anymore. Also, check out our other videos. We have other videos coming soon. Um. This again. This guy. I'm almost we'll having a this. Logan review coming out very yeah, soon. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have. We'll be watching Logan this weekend. We're gonna try to do something a little bit different. But we'll see. We're trying, it's guys. We're really. Uh, we got a lot of. Uh, we're gonna try to schedule more things for you guys. Uh, try to have a schedule. Um. Also, we're again, working on that. Yeah, we're working on a schedule. i putting more content out at a better time. But anyway, man. Um. Go check out Get Out. Uh, just, yeah, just, 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 just be prepared to feel some type of way. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, man, thanks for watching, man. Um, do you see you next say? time. Yeah, yeah, we'll see you next time. Hopefully, watch Logan on or do for our first. That's gonna be our first top ten movie. Yep, our first we top, have 10, a top movie. ten movie that we see. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna, it's gonna be a lot more different. Uh, we're probably gonna give you a reaction right after the movie. So, but anyway, man, thank you for watching, and uh, I'm Vito87. My name is Rio Nixio, and we'll see you next time, man. Bye. Later, man. Whoa, what's going on? Sean? Where you at, man? What's going on, man? See, this was... See, man, man, you need to stop playing! What's going on, man? You see? This is why I don't watch movies with you, man. I'm gonna kill back here. I'm gonna get you, Sean! Sean? This ain't funny, man.